All right. Go ahead and get it started. Clear left, clear center, clear right. Got 24 volts. Okay, NG is rising. Got to have at least 13%. To introduce fuel. Fuel flow is rising. Oil pressure is rising. ITT is rising. Around 40% ignition will come off. We're watching to make sure ITT doesn't spike and make sure that NG doesn't get hung up. Okay, we got a good, good start. Altimeter setting set. Go ahead and call clearance. Morning, Southland Clearance. Plata Slander 2 1 November Golf on the ground to Goshen request IFR to Appleton, Alpha Tango Whiskey. Plata Slander 2 1 November Golf, Southland Clearance delivery, uh, same way. Plata Slander 2 1 November Golf, hold for release at the Goshen Airport. Go to the Appleton Airport, as filed, maintain 3000, expect flight level 20010 minutes after departure. Large control frequency 118.55, block 1311, verify holding for release. 921 November Golf, uh, I am holding for release here at Goshen, cleared Appleton, as filed, climb maintain 3000, expect flight level 200 in 10 minutes. Large frequency 118.55, squawk 1311. And uh, we'll be using runway 27. We'll be ready in about two minutes. So it is one November Golf. Read that correct. Did you say two minutes or ten minutes? About two minutes. One November Golf. One November Golf. Roger. South Bend Altimeter 3016. One November Golf. Okay, cleared as filed, which was just direct. We got 3,000 set for initial headache or altitude. 1855 set for departure, 1311 set for transponder code. Yeah, we'll go ahead and taxi. Make sure the brakes work here. Make sure beta works. Goshen traffic, plot of to one November Golf, taxi runway 27, Goshen. Alright, as we turn, we'll make our Check all our instruments, make sure they're working appropriately. Attitude indicator is erect, not turning. Compass is turning, DG is turning. Altimeters are both set, and they're within 75 feet. Compass is indicating an appropriate heading. And we'll do our stick shaker test. Got to check the stick shaker system. It's part of the one November Gulf South and clearance delivery still up. One November Golf, go ahead. One November Golf, amend your departure control frequency, 132.05. Okay, 3205, one November Golf. November 1, November Golf, your release for departure off the Goshen Airport upon entering controlled airspace, proceed direct to Appleton. Release for departure off the Goshen, and we'll proceed direct to Appleton, one November Golf. So the stick uh, pusher, shaker pusher system is part of the stall protection system. We gotta check that before we take off. 
it shakes on the pilot side, then it shakes on the co-pilot side, then it shakes both sides, and then it pushes, we interrupt it, make sure all the clutches are disengaged. Double as a control check here. Alright, so flaps and trims are in the green. Turn heats on. Lights on. Turn flight director and go around and heading mode. Make sure yaw damper is off. And we'll make our departure call. Goshen traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, departing runway 27, Goshen. And we've got flight idle to go yet. Okay, flight idle set, cast is clear. Here we go. Alright, power set, gauges are all on the green, holding center line. Looking for 80 knots. And rotate. Pause the brake, cap, tap the brakes, bring the gear up. 100 knots, so we'll bring flaps up. Turn the odd amp on and taxi landing light off. Goshen traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, departing the area to the northwest. Goshen. And blue skies above. Always forget that the sun's actually shining up here. I know, right? Don't bring my glasses. <laughs> turn the inertial separator off, get a little better climb. And turn the autopilot off. Bent. Maybe I should get some glasses that aren't uh, from a gas station. <laughs> All right, we're coming up on 18,000 feet here in the states. 18,000 feet is the transition altitude where we transition into flight levels. In some other countries, it's different, but here in the states, it's always 18,000. We set the altimeter setting to standard or 2992, so we don't have to keep switching it all the time. I have a nice handy button that you just push, it goes to standard. means we're about one minute from capturing our descent angle here. Got the autopilot set in vertical nav, VNAV mode. So that means once we get to the top of descent there, it'll start a descent, capture that descent angle until we get to flight level 140, okay, which I have that the uh, Autopilot does a really good job, captures it very smoothly. We'll just have to pull the power back so we don't uh, overspeed the airplane there. There, it's capturing. Bring the power back. We're around 25 inches, it works pretty good. Alright, just to send it down back through uh, 18,000, so we'll set altimeter to the local setting of 3009. You set it to standard when you go up through 18,000 and set it back to a local setting when you go descend back through 18,000. Appleton 
Tower of Commission, Quebec. 1545, Zulu Observation. Wind 300 at 8. Visibility 10. Sky condition 2100 scattered. 12000 scattered. Temperature minus 7. Dew point minus 14. Altimeter 3007. Expect visual approach runway 21, visual approach runway 30. Pre-back all runway hold short instructions and assigned altitudes. Back through 10 pals, we'll turn the pulse lights on, seat belts on, inertial separator open. Morning Green Bay approach, plot of standard 2 November Golf, 8,700, descending 4,000 with Quebec and Albuquerque. Plot of standard 2 November Golf, Green Bay approach, good morning, would you prefer runway 21 or 30? Uh, 30, 1 November Golf. November 1 November Golf, Roger, turn 10 degrees to the right vector for the visual approach, runway 30, descend the pause discretion, maintain 3,000. My discretion to 3,000, uh, we'll continue down to 3,000, 10 to the right, and have vectors to the approach, one number call. Okay, down to 3,000, I'm going to put speed mode. I'm going to go ahead and load an approach just so we have vertical guidance. Put in the ILS, vectors, insert. And we're getting vectors, so we'll activate vectors. Go ahead and set the barrel minimums. Minimums for this approach are 1,075. So I'll say 1080. All right, so 109.7 is the localizer that is active. Go ahead and change the nav to the localizer. And make sure the final approach course is set 298. It is. Go ahead and identify the localizer frequency. That is the correct frequency. Descend a pause discretion maintain 2600. The Appleton Airport is at your 11 o'clock in 11 miles. The fast airport in sight. Down to 2600, and I'll uh, let you know when we see the airport 1 November Golf. Approach 1 November Golf has Appleton Airport in sight. Plot 1 November Golf, you're cleared for the visual approach on way 30. Contact Appleton Tower on 1100.6. Have a good day. Clear the visual approach to 3 0 and over to tower 19 6, 1 November Golf. So long. Clear the visual, I'm going to take the autopilot off and fly it in from here. Hey, we've got tower set. Morning, Appleton Tower, Pilatus Snyder 2 November Golf on the visual runway 3 0. Pilatus Snyder 2 November Golf, Appleton Tower, good morning, runway 3 0, clear to land. Runway 3 0, clear to land, 9 2 November Golf. I like to use my taxi landing light as reminders. Turn the taxi light on when I'm clear for the approach, and the landing light on when I'm cleared to land. The visual reminder if I forget. Okay, we're within the flap range, so I'm gonna put the first set 15 degrees in. And the arm approach mode on the uh, flight director. All right, flight director has captured the approach course. We're not above glide slope, but then gear speeds, so gear's coming down. All right, gear is down, flaps are indicated 15. At about 10 inches of torque. Flight slope's captured on the FMS, or excuse me, flight director. On glide, on path, on speed. Thousand feet to go, no flags. Gears down, fuel's balanced. Third to land. Got him to go, yeah. So this ILS, like most ILSs out there, will get us down to 200 feet above the ground. We can fly through the clouds over 200 feet, break out, and land. That's pretty low. 500. That's the airplane telling us we're 500 feet above the ground. Degrees flaps in. 200 to go to minimums. Got amp to go, yeah. 100. Got amp sway. Minimums. Minimums. So, right there is how low we could go without being able to see the runway on an instrument approach. 
Alright, we're gonna slow down to DSB. And we're down. And to November Golf's going to platinum. Let's on November Golf. Uh, left turn Bravo. November Papa to platinum. What's the frequency? Bravo, November Papa to platinum. We'll stay here. One November Golf.